Hey guys, Robert here with Wonder Off Road. I do have an awesome product for you guys today. I'm gonna to bring you guys a really cool one. But before we get into that, please like, comment, and subscribe. Share this with friends, share this with family, so I can bring you more awesome videos like the one I'm about to show you. And without further ado, I give you guys Screen Pro Tech. And you may be asking, what is Screen Pro Tech? Well, they're an awesome company out of Utah. They make amazing screen protectors for your instrument cluster and your radio screens. Now, I know radio screens over the last few years have grown in size tremendously. I think now in some models are up to 24 inches, which is insane in my opinion, but it's great to have a full-size iPad on your dashboard, right? But sometimes when you're on the trail, you run into a problem. All that dust from the window being open just blows in. Now, some screen, some radio screens and instrument clusters are very soft plastic. Well, how do you clean that without scratching them? Well, sometimes there is no good solution, but sometimes the best solution is a good protection. And that's why you guys should be using Screen Pro Tech. I'm gonna show you guys how to install today on a fifth gen Toyota 4Runner. Now, this is gonna be super simple. You're not gonna need that much tools. And guys, guess what? You can't go wrong with that. Let's get into the video. So here's what comes in your packaging. You get one bottle solution spray, your screen protector, and a microfiber cloth with squeegee. Now with your solution spray, you are gonna to have to add water. There's already soap inside and that will activate. Just add water, shake thoroughly, and then spray on the surface you are gonna install the screen on. Now first you want to spray to ensure a good clean screen before you install your screen. So go ahead and just spray the solution. Clean off all residue, fingerprints, dust, as best as you can. Now you don't have to do this step right here, but I use the squeegee just to make sure the screen was extra clean, cut all the dust, all everything out of the crevices. Like I said, a thoroughly clear, clean screen really does make the installation go a lot. Now next you want to do is grab your screen protector for the radio screen and then peel back from the adhesive paper. So after you peel the adhesive, you want to spray it with solution. Then you want to gently grab it and install it on your radio screen. Now this can be a little tricky with this screen being so small. I did learn later on that if I sprayed this with some solution, it does make it easier for the squeegee to glide across the outside of the screen protector, making it easier for an insulation. Now, if bubbles do appear in the corner of your screen protector, that is uh, perfectly fine to have. These will go away eventually over time. Now for this part of the installation for the screen cluster, uh, you do not need to remove the cluster in order to install the screen protector. I found this was a lot easier for me as a technician to have the instrument cluster removed so I wasn't working between the steering wheel. But all the stuff comes apart very easy. You only need a 10 millimeter socket with an extension and a quarter inch ratchet to remove the four screws that retain the instrument cluster to the dashboard. Now during this installation, uh, patience is key. So take your time. Do not try to rush this project. This project looks great when you have done it, installed it successfully. Now after you removed all four bolts, you can then remove the bezel cover and then slide the instrument cluster out, tilting the cluster backwards towards the dashboard 
and lifting it up from the bottom. You'll then notice the connector right there. You can then gently unplug it. Now you see on my dashboard, my cluster, that there was a lot of micro scratches on here. And it really does not help out when you're driving in bad lighting conditions. So just like the radio screen, you want to spray this down with solution and really clean all the crevices and corners. This installation was a little bit trickier and that's why in the instructions they do recommend for you guys to do the instrument cluster last. So I do agree with that. This is a lot more difficult. It's only due to the uh, concave uh, nature of the instrument cluster. But they are still very easily done. But again, this one just takes a lot more time and patience. So spray down with a, as much you know, an applicator as you need. And then take your time installing the instrument cluster. That way it lines up to the correct specifications of your uh, instrument cluster. Now, it may seem a little frustrating. You're trying to get it and it will not lay flat. And yes, the concave nature does give an extra layer of difficulty, but just take your time. You can peel this guy up a couple times to make sure that you get your alignment just right. Now, I found that my trip button was easier for me to align it off. So I did that and it made this a little bit easier. But again, take your time. Don't get frustrated. And once it's done and installed, you will have a really crystal clear instrument cover. said before in doing the radio installation add some spray uh, to the instrument cluster will help make the squeegee glide across the top so you can squeeze out the solution behind that much easier as well again take your time you see there's a lot of bubbles I have but they all do eventually come out and it looks fantastic And as you guys can see, all those micro scratches are gone. You cannot see any of these. So this really does make all those scratches disappear. Like I've said before, if there's some bubbles in the corner, they will go away eventually. But look at what you're left with. This beautiful crystal clear instrument cluster. The installation is just like the installation. You set them reversed. Just plug in your instrument cluster, gently rock it back into place. Then, you're gonna install all four bolts that you all four, all four screws that you removed, and they will be good as new. So take your time and don't rush this process. For your instrument bezel cluster, there is a little clip on the bottom that holds that little flap right there. You secure him into place first. Just gently press down onto the uh, steering column. Then you can line up the bezel and line up with those clips and push it in place. Again, there's nothing holding this in, it's just clips and they all come out really easy and go back in really easy as well. And there you have it, look at that's the last step. Now you do not have to remove the instrument cluster to install this. So you can always do this with the instrument cluster in. This was just an option that I found easier. And there you guys have it. A quick install with this Screen Pro Tech. And I'll tell you what guys, the results are impressive. 
I am thoroughly, thoroughly happy that I got this and now you guys can too. Check them out at ScreenProtect.com. It makes for most models. But guys, if you want to keep Wonder Off-Road coming at you, remember, click the link in the description below. There you can see our PayPal and donate and help this adventure keep rolling that much longer. And remember guys, you can't go wrong with that.